This week, Sarah Jessica Parker and her husband Matthew Broderick revealed they're expecting twins with the help of a surrogate mother. The Sex and the City star and her husband joined a long line of celebrities and regular folks who've chosen this path to parenthood. As NBC's Rahima Ellis reports, surrogacy has become a booming industry. The star of Sex and the City and her real life leading man have joined a growing list of the rich and famous, expanding their families through surrogacy. But it's not just for celebrities. You're the best. Michael and Melissa Musman's six month old son, Sean, was born through a surrogate mother using a donor egg and the father's sperm. I had gone through radiation treatments and we really didn't know what the inside looked like. There was a lot of damage done to that area. I just didn't want to transfer an embryo and then miscarry. Surrogacy became a widespread option for parenting in the 1970s with in vitro fertilization. There are no precise numbers on how many occur each year because despite the celebrity fanfare around surrogacy, not everyone tells. Several states, including New York, New Jersey, Michigan, and the District of Columbia, refuse to recognize surrogacy contracts at all. That's why the Musmans, a Brooklyn couple, hired a surrogate in Illinois, where the practice is recognized. In the state of New York, it is illegal to compensate someone to uh, carry a baby for you. Parker and Broderick's twin daughters are expected to be born this summer through surrogacy, a practice that's giving more and more people a way to parent. For today, Rahima Ellis, NBC News, New York. And joining us this morning uh, are some women who have had children through surrogacy. You probably recognize Joan London, uh, the longest running host of early morning television, currently hosting Health Corner on Lifetime. She's also the mother of two sets of twins through a surrogate, Max and Kate, yes. and Kim and Jack. Also joining us, a surrogate attorney, Melissa Brisman, who had three children with the help of a surrogate. Uh, ladies, Je great to have you. Good morning to both nice of you. Nice to be here. Joan, you were one of the first to talk about this publicly. And I wonder at the time if you thought there would be some kind of back Flash or if people would, you, you, point, you point out, people said she, oh, she must be selfish for having another woman want to carry the baby. Uh, to me, the, it, the, having a children is the antithesis of being <laughs> selfish. And, you know, these days we are a generation that's having trouble conceiving. So it, these are medical miracles that are wonderful that give viable options to people. I talked about it because quite clearly I knew I couldn't come in under the radar with this one. <laughs> but also because, you know, you usually hear on the news only the sad stories, the terrible endings. And I wanted there to be some counterbalance. We had a wonderful experience. If you do it right, you do your homework, and you get, you know, good legal help so the contracts are drawn up ahead of time, right. you can have a wonderful experience and end up with the babies. And that's what it's all about, ha is parenting. Have the celebrities that we're talking about now, the Dennis Quaid's, the Angela Bassett's, has that helped the cause or hurt it, do you think? Well, maybe it brings it out so it's talked about. Certainly, I'm here today. You asked me to be here today. The only thing I worry about is this sensationalistic, you know, scrutiny of how they go about it. They ask questions that, quite frankly, your neighbor shouldn't ask you, let alone the public who doesn't even know you. And I always worry that it might discourage a, cu a woman out there from using a viable option that's available to her. So that's why I always want to bring it back to center. This is about creating families. Right. And if she was getting a heart transplant or a liver transplant, we wouldn't be questioning sure. her motives. Melissa, when, when a young couple comes to you and looks for advice, I mean, this is a process, right? It's going to cost them a fair amount of money, and it's going to take a lot of time. What Absolutely. do you tell them? Well, the first thing I, I go over is the whole process and how emotional it is, because it's really not usually a question of whether or not you can have a baby this way, because it is a viable option, but it comes with a host of emotions and things and all sorts of people that need to be put together. It really does take a small village, but it is a viable option, and lay people People do it all the time in our office. We find over 200 carriers a year for couples, and they're all your normal everyday couples with the exception of a few celebrities that come through, and they're no different than anybody else. A celebrity who comes and an ordinary couple, they want the same thing. They want a family. The cost could be thirty thousand, sixty thousand dollars, right? It could take it, over a year to get the well, process it, rolling. It take not to get the process rolling. It takes a few months to get the process rolling, but of course it's going to take over a year because it takes nine months sure. to have a baby. Yeah. 
But um, it does. It can cost money. But like in certain states, in New Jersey, health insurance. If you work for a company that has 50 or more employees, your health insurance, if you have a medical need, will not only pay for your IVF, but it will pay for the surrogate's pregnancy. Right. Now that's kind of new, also. I mean, these it's catching Absolutely. up. Absolutely. You know, all the laws and the insurance and everything is catching up now with the need of this generation. Right. But John, you know, you, you know, to some degree, it's still controversial because it's legal. Uh, aspects wrapped up in emotional aspects, right? Yeah. If, if the if the gestational carrier wants to reduce if it's twins, that's going to be her right, yes? Yeah, now you just hit on something, though. It, I think the safest way to go for anybody out there that's considering it is j having a gestational carrier who is not related, so she's not related to the baby. Right. And yes, you have to decide everything up front. If you put in more than one embryo, are you going to do selective reduction? You both have to agree how much contact are you going to have during the pregnancy. And afterwards, I mean, she, our surrogate, Deborah Bullock, and she was out in Ohio, one of the states with it, that's, you know, good for this. She's a part of our lives. You know, she'll get you flowers. You still keep in contact. Oh, on Mother's Day coming up, she's getting flowers <laughs> from us. And she is very much a part of our family. And I want our children to know her mm -hmm. and to, to be thankful for what she did. Melissa, were you ever worried during, during her pregnancy that when the babies came, and she saw them when we heard about the Mary Beth Whitehead case in the 80s. Absolutely that she not. would she would have no. doubts. It's Absolutely it's a powerful not. force, right? You know, you right? worry yeah. about things like is she taking care of herself? When you have so much trouble getting pregnant, you worry about things like silly things like is she drinking too much coffee? You know, is she going to call you back within an hour? <laughs> you don't really worry about whether or not she's going to keep the baby. In fact, I've been doing this over 10 years and we have never had a compensated carrier even hint that she wants the baby. Right. I mean, that's not a worry. That may be a worry when you go into it. But then there's more practical aspects. Did she get her medication on time? Does she have enough time to get to the doctor? Does she have enough child care? It really becomes psychological. And when you say that people are against the process, it really is religiously motivated, I feel. Yeah. It's not so much oh, emotional. Yeah. It's religious groups, IVF groups who don't want this to happen. And, you know, the Christian coalition who thinks having a baby outside the right. body is against family. So it's more the religious opposition and the emotional that well, you it's get. It's definitely getting talked about in part because of women Women like you, celebrities like Sarah Jessica. It's great having you both here this morning. Who all just want to be parents? Yeah. <laughs> Joe, Melissa, thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. We'll be right back. Right. But first, this is today on NBC.